Hey y'all, welcome back to Chatting with Coach Amy. Today I have a special guest, Eugenia. Did I say that right? Yes. I have a hard time with names sometimes, it's me and my Southern self. So Eugenia has been a group client for how long? Since uh, mid-summer, about since July. This year? Yes. I feel like you've been around a lot. I say that all the time. I really do. <laughs> I feel like you've been around for a while. But um, I am so happy that you agreed to do this. Y'all, some of these folks take a little bit of convincing <laughs> to be a guest on the podcast because I, I actually just asked her a couple days ago, what? Me? Y'all? I'm so excited. This is going to be great. Go ahead, introduce yourself for us. Oh, thank you. Um, my name is Virginia. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness. Okay, my name is Eugenia Sermet. I'm uh, 38. In a few weeks, I'll be 39. <laughs> I, what day? <laughs> I was born in Eastern Europe in a small country called Moldova. Uh, we moved here to United States together with my extended family in 2009. So we've been living the American dream <laughs> for 13 years now in Asheville area, North Carolina. Yes, and uh, I'm a wife to Nick, Nikolai. <laughs> He's the sweetest and most precious gift from God for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, it's true. And I am happy <laughs> to hear me. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and we've, we've been married for 14 years and we have three handsome boys. Yeah, Andrew 10, uh, Matthias 8, and uh, Levi 2 years old. Oh, I yeah. love it. And uh, so you said Levi, would that be our Levi? Yes, Levi? Yeah. Okay. yes, Levi, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a, a homeschooling mom uh, mm -hmm. for two years. It's our second year, so we're still new to this. Yeah, yeah. But it's hard. It's very hard, but it's worth it. <laughs> but yeah, it is hard. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So what grade is that? The, what grades are they in? The age? Um, Andrew is fifth and uh, Matthias is second. Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay, keep going. Anything else? Oh, uh, what can I say more? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, so I had wanted to ask you on, just because of the, I mean, evident culture, you know, with, with food and with, um, you know, being new to America, you know, and then also you're, you're a mom with young boys and, and I love the perspective of that. So there was like so many things, um, this girl and her eating on Sunday, y'all, I'm telling you, <laughs> kills me. <laughs> it's a running joke. She knows, but yeah. she's doing her best and she's doing a lot better than she used to. That's for sure. Um, Fine. and Yes. And, but we're going to get to her THM journey because mm -hmm. this is, I really want to, and I think everybody will stay tuned uh, to hear the rest of this, but I shared um, a question. She is in my, she was in buds in the summer. She's in blooms and she joined my holiday group for the holiday time. And I asked a question about, we'll say Christmas traditions. We'll say that. And in my holiday group, and she um, really, I wanted to have it pulled up to read your response. I think I'm going to do to do oh. y'all home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, if I can find it, Mighty Networks. That's what I use for group coaching, and it they just had an update, and um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I forgot what color the new icon was. <clears throat> oh, I hope I don't cough during this whole thing. Heavens. All right, give me just a minute to pull. Oh, actually, I think that question was in blooms. Yeah, question was in blooms. It was. All right, we'll get there. Y'all give us just a second. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, I should have had this ready. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Messy, messy, messy. Okay. Um, here we go. She comments a lot, y'all. 
She's very, <laughs> very, very uh, active. <laughs> very active in the group coaching. She really is. You know what? I'm not gonna be able to find it as fast as I wanted. That's okay. Why don't you just share with us um, what you shared, and then we'll just have a little conversation about it. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> Um, let's uh, uh, remember the question. Uh, it yeah. was about uh, when did you first uh, realize that Santa Claus doesn't exist? Right. Uh, uh, the answers, you know, they were cracking me up. <laughs> I bet. I bet. So funny for everybody. But uh, this, like, uh, made me, you know, uh, think about my childhood a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, my answer was, uh, uh, we never <laughs> knew about, well, we heard about it, mm -hmm. but in our uh, area, because uh, Moldova uh, is, the, um, is the smallest, almost the smallest, not the smallest, but one of the poorest <laughs> country yeah. in, in Europe. Yeah. And it was very hard growing up, uh, uh, especially my childhood was, um, after the uh, former Soviet Union collapsed, and that brought a lot of poverty uh, yeah. to our area. And um, it was very hard growing up. Um, so um, Christmas was uh, meaning something different for us there. Mm -hmm. So- then um, here. Yeah, then here, for yes. Then here for a lot of people, yeah. Yes, yes, and it, and here it's different from you know for everybody, mm -hmm. uh, but we were focused more on the experience to experience the the joy of Christmas more mm -hmm. than the things because no we didn't know about getting um, presents for uh, for Christmas no, uh, um, not even uh, uh, it was our birthdays we didn't receive anything for our birthdays. Uh, only a good meal <laughs> and uh, the <clears throat> greatest, greatest uh, thing, like it was uh, um, the possibility to invite somebody over, like oh. some, cousins, yeah, some cousins and enjoy uh, this together. So, um, oh, it so, just makes me want to cry. Well, don't start. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, <clears throat> that was our memories. But it was so magical. Like we love going caroling. Uh, yeah. the, yes, on Christmas Eve, <clears throat> and then uh, when we would ca carol, we focus on uh, going not only to the uh, believers' families, but to everybody in that village, and uh, we, we would invite people to come uh, over to church the next day. We would spend the oh. Christmas day on church uh, at the church yeah. and um they will heal no the matter week. right no matter what day of the week it was you're yes. gonna go to church on christmas yes, day. Okay. For, for two days for two days it was for yes for the christmas day and the second day a lot of celebration a lot of christmas programs from kids different ages yeah. um, yes it was amazing and after wow. the christmas the program, uh, kids Christmas program, uh, the ladies in our church, uh, that was our gift. Uh, they would bake uh, some goodies, <laughs> some sugary <laughs> cookies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, All plan. <laughs> and they would tell us, if you will recite the poem, you know, without any mistake, if you would m memorize that, you will receive the, you know, the, the goodie bag at the end. So we were so excited about that. So wow. it, yeah, that was <laughs> what we did for. Uh, can you, can you describe what, the, when you say the village, yeah. I have a, I have a vision. I have like an imagination of what that looks like, but can you explain a little bit what, what that looked like? Yeah, it's a, it's a small, like, I don't know how to say, cottage. <laughs> it's yeah. a, um, a houses and backyards and everybody would grow like uh, would have a garden in their backyard and lots of uh, animals <laughs> sheep uh, ducks uh, that's why we yeah 
geese, chickens, turkeys, everything. And we would grow our, our food and we will eat from our gardens and yeah. Wow. So that's, um, that's what a village is. And the- Do you have vehicles? I'm not, I'm not trying to be silly. Like I really don't no. know. Did you have cars, vehicles and stuff? No, like that? no, no, we didn't. When we grew up, there were a few people that had, that, that could afford to have a car. Uh, somebody gifted us, gifted my dad, cause he was um, a church planter and okay. gifted a, um, a very old <laughs> Russian car. And he would go to another villages and then uh, we had it like for, let's say, seven or seven years, uh, six or seven years before we got uh -huh. here. So uh -huh. that was in 2000, 2000 something. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, so did, were there like businesses in the village? Well, not so much. We have like a grocery store, a few, uh, you know, but when I grew up, there were very few and people would buy their like, groceries there but not so much only people who can afford because uh, mostly you will grow your food in the in the back okay 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 so yeah okay so uh this is just amazing to me I, and once again thank you so much for sharing this because i know this is very personal but i i really feel like many people are going to be blessed to hear this and i know that your heart isn't to say that you know what I've spent all my children for their gift and the things that I do aren't wrong. No, but no. this is your, this is just your perspective growing up. Something yeah. else that hit me in your post, you talked about Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Can yeah. you share about that a little bit, please? Yes, um, I was already in college. I uh, I um, travel abroad in Romania. The and uh, I was in college. I didn't, you know, benefit from that, from this. But my uh, younger siblings, for two or three years, I would say, before we got here, we got here in 2009. So let's say around 2005 or something, they, uh, they came to Moldova. And that was amazing. That was the first time, like, uh, our younger siblings uh, received one uh, Shabbat. So Operation Christmas Child is operated by Billy Graham Evangel uh, Evangelistic Association and um, they have around Christmas a, a very uh, amazing opportunity for yeah. all the for everybody who can have a shoebox and put there some uh, cute stuff for, for kids, yeah. crayons and even stuff that they need, you know, small stuff, what can, you know, put in a shoe And but for the kids over there, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. So yeah, they uh, we've been blessed to to benefit from it. And I know a lot of that's how um, they will give at, at first they will give only to the kids in the church, but then um, they had a vision like if we receive more we will go you know, and they will go to the local kindergarten, give it to all the kids over there, and then to the schools, and they would focus more, you know, on the people uh, outside church more. Than, right. right. Yeah. So that was amazing. Yeah. And uh, together with this, uh, somebody, uh, somebody will tell the story of uh, Jesus, the birth of Jesus, and everybody will have the opportunity to hear about the good news of you know, the birth of Jesus. So that was amazing. I'm so glad I know you. Oh, no. <laughs> this is, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. We have participated in uh, Operation Christmas Child for as long as I can remember. You know, yeah, I mean, I, I, as every year, as long as I can remember, I've done at least one shoebox. And I will say when there were tough years, um, I would just pay because they'll fill one up for you and you just pay for it. I have done that a couple times. I'm not going to lie. But this year we did, um, we did several and um, I, I've had times where I've done up to 15 before because I could, you know, different things like that and sending them out. Um, and I was at a previous church. I was in charge of 
gathering them and promoting them and you know all of that stuff and very very dear friend of mine Lola Holifield that lives in our area she is um a representative in our in our region district whatever I don't know so she's in charge of all of that and so my girls have got to help an awful lot with the sorting and the you know making sure the boxes are full and making sure they meet all the criteria and get those shipped off and it is just a beautiful thing and I'm so grateful to know somebody you know that has experienced that and that it truly is changing lives um, giving a gift for the first time but sharing the gospel you know that is just in it is incredible incredible yeah. so is there anything else you wanted to share about Christmas, um, please, please go for it. Um, you know, to continue about this, um, when we got here, we didn't know, we live in Asheville, North Carolina. I don't know, it's a small town, yeah. but it's, uh, the the town of Billy Graham, <laughs> we're here, like around here, he was born. I didn't know that, okay. Yes, when we heard that, I guess it was, they have uh, a training center called the right. Cold here and we went and visited that and together with our kids we also did operation christmas child some shoe boxes oh. and we yeah we told them everything about it and they're still asking us when are we gonna do it when's the time to do it and um, oh. like, we did it online too it's, uh, it's amazing like we, we will never be great you know grateful right. enough for you uh, that you did this it, it's amazing for the kids over there and for us too it was I can't I can't I can't talk without getting emotional about that emotional so. yeah that's okay thank you thank so you. much for sharing that mercy mm. yeah mm, so good. that is so neat I did not realize that Asheville is where that that centered yeah I didn't realize yeah. that that's awesome very cool very cool all right. So, um, was there anything else you wanted to share about that? Uh, about no, I, I think I said, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you did a great job. So, <laughs> what if, how, um, how has your Christmas changed coming to the United States and then also your children growing up and things like that? Well, when we first got here, uh, I don't remember the first year because first year it was so difficult for me I yeah, went to a very, very dark time <laughs> like depression and mm -hmm. I don't really remember our first Christmas here just a little bit but the next uh, Christmas it changed <laughs> and uh, it was our first time having a um, Christmas tree yes because mm -hmm. we didn't have those didn't have those. a Christmas tree there okay. no Oh, no, no, only one in the middle of the village or at the kindergarten oh. or in the school. You would right. see that, but not everybody in their houses. So okay. now it's changed, but I don't know how many were, if everybody, you know, does that. Right. Yeah, a little bit. And it, uh, we had the Christmas tree and then um, we thought about exchanging, exchanging gifts between us. So... It was amazing. We, uh, I can't believe we, we could, you know, afford to do that. And oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> I, I can't. And then uh, we, we had. I, I was the only one married in my family, so we're a extend a, a large family. Like my parents yeah. had kids. So how many? I'm sorry, eight, eight kids. Okay. And we moved uh, all together here, and I was the only one married. And my kids are the only, were the only <laughs> nephews, and they were spoiled enough. And now, <laughs> <I bet. laughs> yeah, now the other three are married, and we keep on multiplying. So, <laughs> <laughs> taking that seriously. <laughs> yeah. so, I love it. Uh, we still do the gift exchange. Yeah, it's uh, Secret Santa more. Yeah, 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 and uh, yeah, there's still kids are off limits, but we told them only what they need. We don't want them to have, you know, too much stuff. Right. And we always, right. we don't give them gifts 
if we know we will exchange gifts between us at Christmas, they will not get from us anything from their parents. <laughs> so they could okay. uh, grow to appreciate, you know, the things that they receive. Oh, that's yeah. So good. Um, I, we, we're selling the, <laughs> the, the relatives only things that they need, like, you know, socks and hats and gloves, I don't know. But uh, they are spoiled, they are spoiled for sure. But we try to, to teach them, it's, uh, especially at Christmas, uh, it's not about us, although it's a beautiful thing, it's a special tradition, you know, to, to yeah. enjoy. And, but we need to remember who is the reason for the season. And uh, yeah. it's, uh, and it's easy for us to tell him today, it's Jesus's birthday. Let's focus on him and we celebrate Jesus and the greatest love that he had for us. And uh, we can't keep that for ourselves. That's how, that's why we give to others. That's how we teach them to tell the good news to other people. And uh, we're trying to do this and uh, they understand, they understand. And we're trying to <laughs> keep a balance between- Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I just, it's just such a wonderful reminder. Um, I get, I, I love gifts. You know, I do. Me too. Oh my goodness. Me I love too. them. And I have this, I know what I've gotten my children already. Oh. And you know, I'm like, oh, you know, not, and I know you're not telling me I'm doing anything wrong, but I'm just like, I really, no, really need to no. focus more on that. Um, and what a beautiful opportunity this year. Sunday is Christmas day. You know, yeah. and I think I, I love, I love that. I love when Christmas day is on a Sunday, such a good thing. Cause here we're only going to have church if Christmas falls on a Sunday, <laughs> you know, if it yeah. falls on a Friday, we're not going to church. But I remember when you said that, that really, um, it really was special to me to hear that. Yeah. yeah. So what do you guys do? Have you changed your traditional, traditional Christmas foods that you would have made back home? Um, has that changed since coming here? Well, not so much. <laughs> we, since we got here, we, as long as my mama lives, <laughs> she wants to <clears throat> cook and, you know, we love our traditional food, but yeah. we're trying to get the healthy version of the, of, yeah. of that. So uh, if you know an uh, European, well, especially in Eastern European, we're all about breads and mm -hmm. different pies and rolls with everything, cheese and garlic, <laughs> whatever. And it's been very hard, <laughs> but it's, it's for the better. We, we feel it in our bodies and we see yeah. the difference. And um, lots of potatoes are <laughs> a traditional food. It's, uh, it, uh, you know, has a lot of potatoes baked mashed potatoes and everything and you know everybody is now in our household eating golden potatoes or the yes i love it, it. <laughs> this is amazing the, the way everybody got on board almost everybody it's uh, it's mind-blowing yeah how many people yeah so how many people are we talking here a lot of people uh or it's 20 with the kids 20 and something yeah. Wow. Yeah. So uh, we every Sunday we get together in my house and this one because mm -hmm. this is bigger, <laughs> the only one that's bigger from. And uh, my mom wants to, and we also, not, <laughs> but she she's telling us uh, as long as I, as I shall live, uh, everyone will get together on uh, on the weekends, especially on Sunday after church. You know. Good and, for her. Uh, What's your mom's name? Anna. 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 Yes. Tell yeah. her I said you go, girl. Excuse me. Tell her I said you go, girl. Because yes. they, telling her family that I think I'll be her. I think I'll do that. I'm like, we shall. As long as I sh shall live, <laughs> we will all be here together at one meal on the weekend. <laughs> but you know, yeah, I know that's not realistic for 100 percent of the time. But that's no, a great. Goal. I love it. <laughs> for us, it's also not you know not. Oh, almost everybody's on Sunday here. 
but we're trying, you know, uh, and uh, that's how we get together and find, you know, encourage one another, you know, having arguments and stuff that family does, but, you know, keep every, everyone together. So uh, on Saturdays, my mom says uh, we have mom and girls time and we go to my mom and cook the food. And then we, we come on Sunday here and, you know, staying together was uh, a major, major blessing for us, especially when we moved here. We were like uh, supporting each other and everybody, sure. uh, this cultural shock in a different way. And um, we, staying together was amazing. So everybody that sees us uh, tells us like, um you don't realize how blessed you are that all of all of you are here and because not everybody you know had this possibility such a large family everybody to move and to stay together so, you know, we realize the blessing and we don't know how much uh, we will will last but you know as long <laughs> as we can try this and you know it, it's amazing you know to yeah. to have the opportunity <clears throat> Yeah. So I don't, I don't remember your question. How how many? It's okay. Yeah. yeah, I asked how many. So um, you've shared with me. Um, I, so I want to tell everybody. So she's in blooms, and yeah. recently I felt led to open up my one on one session to my blooms for a set amount of time for a discounted price, and just to see if they have any tweaks they need to make in what they're doing. Maybe they're stalled or they're frustrated or they just want to try out one-on-one a little bit just to see how that could help their journey. And Eugenia was one of the first ones to take me up on it. And um, after our short time together, she decided to finish out the year, um, which we're doing. So um, what I found very interesting is that her mom, well, her, I think your sister is who told you about THM. Is that right? Yes. And me. And me. Yeah. Uh, Atlanta. Yes. Yes. Atlanta. And um, so she told her about that in coaching and now Eugenia's in coaching and her, she's telling her mom and other siblings and most of them desire to be on plan and, yeah. and are actively. Tell us a little about that. <laughs> okay. So uh, as you said, I um, heard about teaching from my sister Svetlana uh, she just uh, randomly saw uh, THM uh, Facebook page, and mm -hmm. then um, she told me, "Do you know about this uh, <laughs> this amazing group? It looks uh, sustainable. It looks uh, achievable. You know, like uh, yeah. uh, choosing the the healthy version of all the foods that God, <laughs> you know, uh, created for us." So I was very curious and then together we will oh, did you see that recipe oh we could teach him <laughs> a, our version or something because we we have very tasty food <laughs> traditional so yeah. we were worried we won't be able to eat our traditional food you know and uh, even uh, now I, maybe there is a european thm <laughs> group i don't know about it but yeah that's something i need to to see but you know when we came here <clears throat> We didn't like any of uh, American food, <laughs> but then, you know, step by step, we uh, grew to love it. Uh, and, um, but still, when we bake uh, and uh, cook at home, we do traditional food. And it was very, like, uh, very, like, for us uh, to, to try this or not, we were a little bit, you know, on the verge of, of that. And then uh, my sister told me, did you see Coach Amy? She's very like us. She will be like our best friend. Like she oh, makes oh, of course. Yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> she makes it everything look easy. And she's not that, because uh, we were at the beginning, you can be uh, overwhelmed with everything. Like do this, do that, do that. And we were, oh my goodness, <laughs> we can, yeah. it's a big change already. And you know, sure. dive all in, all in, uh, like it was a little bit scary, but then you had that formal 
post. <laughs> yes. And that was us. That was us. We won't be doing yes. this, this. This. Let's just keep keep it simple. Keep it simple. Right. <laughs> so that's how uh, I I follow, I started to follow you. And then my sister, she's working. I'm a stay-at-home mom. But all of, all of my sisters are working. And she told me, please go into one of these groups or her groups and everything you, you learn, tell us. Because she knew, because she's been following for more years. She knows the concept. Just give me some ideas of the food that we can, you know, yeah. make. So, and she's been encouraging me since then. And then I would go to them, you know, this is it, this is us. Uh, we can't combine this type or, or the other ones. Yeah. We were, you know, we were encouraging one another. And since I've been on plan, uh, well, not to be discouraged, I didn't lose very much. It's uh, five or six pounds, but I know we will take time because uh, prior to that, I do, I did intermittent fasting and mm -hmm. it was bad. <laughs> and it will take time uh, for my body to heal. But still, a great NSV is that I don't add too much, uh, you know, the amount of food that I'm, uh, you know, taking in. But they, two of my sisters, lost uh, 10 pounds <laughs> each. And they are yeah. so, and not, they are not 100% on plan because they can't be, they can't, uh, you know, they, they try, but, you know, the type of work that they do, they need more planning and prepping and they okay. can't apply that. Yeah, so it's <laughs> the great NS, NSB for me is that they are on board, they are encouraging me, and they uh, see the difference in me. Yeah. And, yeah. and since we're baking together and cooking on Saturday, we, we would do half, half on plan and half off plan <laughs> for the rest of the family. Now the balance is changing <laughs> and many and most of us want to be on plan and only few off plan and, and they don't mind if it's everything on plan. So, wow. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. I, I can't believe that's it. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love that. Um, so can you talk a little bit about coaching and your experience with that? Oh yes, that was amazing for me. I mean, <laughs> I use I, I use this word a lot, but it it, it is the benefits I uh, you know I got from uh, starting my KHM. First of all, a wonderful, kind, and patient coach, Amy, <laughs> who is really really invested in all of us. Uh, in uh, it's a big community. It's there's there's hundreds of us, right? And you are, you know, everybody and you try to, you know, put uh, in our shoes and oh, very invested and genuine. What you see is what you get. And <laughs> you are happy with us and you cry with us. You're so relatable and uh, we're so oh. thankful and grateful for you. Not that you're you know, so fun. sweet. You made me I'm not cried ever this much in a podcast. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to. It's but okay. This is true. <laughs> That's the biggest uh, benefit of it. And then the second, it's the wonderful ac accountability group that we have. Yeah. Oh, it's such amazing. I, I've never thought we can, you know, relate so much, being so different, coming from different backgrounds. And we encourage one another. I can't believe it. Even in my in bots also we were new we didn't know what we're dealing with and everybody was so understandable and so you know asking questions and encouraging and cheering us on so it was it's it's amazing and the um, the fact that we need to post our food every, uh -huh. every night it's amazing first of all you get inspired <laughs> what you'll do tomorrow or something uh -huh. <laughs> For your breakfast or lunch but also you understand better the plan i'm more a visual person and when i say oh this is it this is this okay i can do that i can mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we can do that and then um the healthy perspective about food because you know i i wasn't on many diets you know i was looking uh, i wanted to lose weight as everybody but you know, I, I knew from the beginning, yeah, like, uh, this is not sustainable. I won't be able to do that. This is not 
what I can do. But this one like shifted the perspective, you know, uh, in, uh, in my mind and uh, seeing the food that, you know, God intended for us to be like a nourishment for our body and that carbs are good and fats are good, you know, only not uh, together. And understanding this um, made a real, you know, impact in, in my journey and uh, um, realize, uh, make me realize that this plan is working. It will. Uh, I've seen a lot of testimonies um, and uh, it's uh, attainable. It's, uh, it's not easy. It takes a little bit of uh, time. But prepping and planning, it it's, uh, sets me up for for success on this journey. That's so, for sure. yes, that's what I, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, the benefits that I got from from my journey so far. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, what it what made you choose mini blooms? What that's what I called the mini one on one session. I called it mini blooms. Ah, the one on one session. I wanted yeah. to. Um, um, to make it more personal for me, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I didn't. Uh, I I guess I I told her, I don't know. Uh, my the scale was not moving too much for me, so um, you know I wanted to celebrate with others. As uh, some, you know, it depends. For some, the scale is moving very, you know, fast. Like uh, some are losing ten pounds in a month or something. But for me, it didn't. So I wanted to make it more personal and to discuss with you. Let's see what underlying problems do I have or something. And um, so far, maybe it didn't move too much, but it made me understand. You know, it, it takes time. You know, I realized I didn't. You know, in my mind that my body uh, was in starving mode before with the with the intermittent fasting. I wouldn't yeah. eat since uh -huh. three o'clock till next morning at 10 o'clock. So that was a lot on my, mm -hmm. on my body and I was hungry all the time. <laughs> so it would take time and then um, many other things. I didn't, I wanted to learn some tricks <laughs> that I can do uh, in my, so that's how I understand many things. More, most of my ease were uh, a little bit crossovers. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, I don't think that's me, Eugenia. <laughs> and I was so proud every Saturday to write on that um, review. Uh, how do you call that review? Tracking sheet. Yes, tracking sheet. Oh, no EXO for me, no EXOs. And you told me, please, <laughs> please, <laughs> and tell me all hidden ingredients that you have, and this thing, and this, and that made me scratch my head. Yes, yes, this. <laughs> <laughs> I might be doing something wrong. So this helped me a lot. A lot. Details <laughs> like this. And you having, you know, time investing in, in this and um help, it helps me. It it sets me up for, for something. I know that for sure. Yeah. I can't wait. It's gonna be yeah. so good. Thank it's you. It's gonna come. I know it is. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I have hope. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um was there anything else you wanted to share um regarding my uh, relationship with food <laughs> okay please um, go ahead yes um growing up the way i grew up um it was uh, you know it was very hard for us Whew, uh, that's what I, i'm getting you yeah. and i don't want yeah to, uh, okay but, you know, Take your time. It's okay. It's um, it's a culture problem, and it's uh, that's what you know makes every culture different. And when we get here, you know, you change everything, even your relationship with food, and that's um, that's what had a toll on my uh, on my body and on my mind. So I want to tell you just a little bit how we grew up. Uh, I've already told you we grew up in Moldova. It was very uh, difficult for us to make it through. Um, being um, a large family, uh, after the Soviet Union collapsed, uh, many families, uh, you know, uh, 
many parents remained without jobs. Um, we couldn't do anything. We didn't have resources to like to feed our animals or, you know, to grow our gardens. And it was very, very hard. There were days when uh, we would have something for breakfast, like uh, just hot tea and uh, a slice of bread. And uh, we would be happy to have like some homemade jam on that uh, bread where uh, it will be a luxury to have some butter on that bread. So I don't remember if, you know, many times that we have bar and jam together. And um, before, you know, we go to school, my parents would um, get all of us together around the table and would have like a short devotional, you know, mm -hmm. praying for the day and for the food. And uh, I remember many, many mornings, um, Sorry. It's okay. <clears throat> My mom would say, uh, uh, kids, let's just be thankful for what we have. And in our prayers, let's just um, pray that God will provide something for lunch. Hmm. And uh, yeah, she was not worried. You can feel it just a little bit in her. <laughs> voice you know but she was a woman of faith she is a prayer warrior she everything that she did in her life and she's still doing the greatest gift that she gave to us our kids is to teach us how to depend on god on every single detail in our life mm -hmm. and yeah. starting yes yeah, starting with this and uh, uh, i I remember when I grew up, because that was my childhood, uh, my mom more uh, kneeling, staying on her knees than standing up. Wow. And uh, after we would pray, I was never, never worried that we wouldn't have anything to eat. I knew in my heart that God would provide. I just knew. And I've I've seen that so many times, so many times, like somebody will leave a bag of potatoes at our door. Somebody will bring us a big bag of uh, uh, flour to, break, to bake the bread. Cause the bread was like when Jesus says, the, <laughs> give us our daily bread for us, daily bread meant, meant that, like to have that piece of, and uh, even a cooked meal, uh, that this one gets me so much because there was a sweet, sweet lady, a widow, and she many, many times, we didn't know it was her, but she would cook a meal and bring it and leave it to our door. And yeah. we knew it was her because we, <laughs> we would visit many times and we knew her pots. <laughs> oh. And, yes. And, oh, wow. And, Yes, and for us as kids, that meant, you know, everything for us. That's how we uh, grew to know God. That's how we understood we can do, you know, anything in this life without him. That's yeah. how I, uh, I don't remember the day, you know, I got saved. I not, you know, remember a day without knowing God. That's how I grew in my faith. I knew God is a God you can depend on for my life and for my death, he is my hope and everything. And started with this, with food. <laughs> and, uh, you know, somehow this relationship with food was, you know, healthy in a way in Moldova, because we would be happy to have a, a view, you know. There is a, a Christian comedian, my husband, you know, told me it's, uh, he is Tim Hawkins from here. Uh -huh. And uh, he would say a joke about his kids uh, complaining about some food and everything. And uh, Sam would ask, I, will, I want a happy meal from <laughs> McDonald's. But he told him, the way you act, you will be happy to have a meal. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And that's a funny one. And um, yes, we were happy to have a meal. And we would, when we got here, we were overwhelmed everything and lots of variety lots of stuff 
even going to Walmart, it was, you didn't know why this and why not that, or how many <laughs> we, you can choose from. And yes, it was, um, it was hard to, to make this shift, cultural shift between, you know, the, the, the country <laughs> backgrounds that we came from. And uh, so uh, uh, we never like back in Moldova, I never went to bed being hungry, God provided, it was amazing. But coming here and seeing lots of stuff, <laughs> uh, it was very you know, easy to go to the other extreme, you know, to have too much. And, uh, but we always remember, you know, that's why uh, uh, a great benefit from being together. We remember the times. Um, when we grew up, uh, we remember the goodness of God and the benefits, uh, as the, the Psalm 103 says, uh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and don't uh, forget any of his benefits. So um, we see food as a, um, an amazing <laughs> grace from God, you know, given to us. And um, a provision. Yes, provision, yes. And it's, uh, it's good to remember the times, you know, when it was difficult to have it. And uh, we appreciate the food, you know, like seeing the food like fuels for our body, nourishment, not, you know, emotional uh, refuge or, or something. So that helped me. Uh, remembering the, that those times now helps me in this THM journey because this is all beautiful. about yeah right right wow yeah i'm sorry it it takes me long to, <laughs> to explain things but i want to to make sure you know that people understand a little bit of my background because yeah. sometimes i can be you know i can come across a little bit judgy maybe when i say some stuff like about christmas or something but i didn't want i just shared my yeah. experience yes i'm not yeah. judging one anybody has you know its own uh, story it's on you know uh, background and we act the way we act because we know <laughs> it's this is yeah. us and uh, I just you know I I think it's important to understand where we're coming from to understand where we are now and how we you know what's the way you know we react and tell our absolutely. story absolutely as we thank you thank you as we close, yeah. what has kept you actively pursuing THM even when you weren't losing weight? Can you please repeat the question? Uh, first yeah. part. Yeah. So what kept you going following THM <laughs> even though you weren't losing weight? Oh, well, as I said before, the benefits that I got from it, you know, seeing the food as God intended to, to be seen, like he gave it to us to fuel our bodies, not to, you know, refuge in it and eating emotionally. Um, also seeing the testimony of other people, you know, I'm so encouraged by yeah. that. And I believe it because they are real. <laughs> we, yeah. we have them in our groups. So they're right. real. It's not just a photo circling around on the internet. It's yeah. real people. And um, the education that uh, I got, you know, the modules that you gave us, you yeah. know, they are very easy, not very easy. They could get over, you could get over, overwhelmed at the in the beginning. But, you know, the longer you try to do it, you understand better. And having that foundation, it's very important. And that's what keeps me going. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, wonderful. And having a coach is, I would recommend to everybody who's a little bit lost where as I was, you know, I, even though I, you know, going through the, the depression that I, uh, I went through here and uh, it messed up my, with my brain and I can't, you know, really, my memory is so uh, short. Uh, I can't remember things and I have a very difficult time 
every time I I need to to make a meal or something, I, I always go back to the to the way you 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 said <clears throat> and you gave us the the tools how to anchor our meals, how to you know build my meals, and I always yeah. go there, even though somehow I know them, I want to make sure right. that I'm doing the right thing. So yeah. so yeah. Thank you so much. I, I I knew what your answer would be, but I wanted everyone to hear it too as we closed out. Thank yeah. you so much. This y'all, this is a Saturday morning. It's actually her noon time. <laughs> um, but I thank you for taking time away from your family today. And please tell your mama and all your sisters I said Merry Christmas. Okay. Aww. Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach Amy. You've blessed me yeah. so much. And <laughs> Merry Christmas to you and your dear ones. I love following you and I'm grateful <laughs> for you. You're amazing. And your oh, family story you. is amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I love you and I'm so thankful. I'm going to cry. I'm so <laughs> thankful to know you and to have people like you as clients. It is absolutely incredible like I just I'm gonna cry I'm sorry it's just absolutely amazing um the um, people that I have gotten to know and love and have in my life it's it is a huge blessing that's just not even good enough words to be honest but I'm gonna stop before I lose it here <laughs> but Merry Christmas everybody you want to tell them bye yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. God is good and he deserves all the glory for everything that we're going through or we've done. Thank you so much, Coach Amy. Amen. Bye, y'all.